And so I'm going to step right in and first to talk about the mobile workstations. And so as Jim mentioned, we, we're introducing basically generation two of the ZBook 15 and ZBook 17 mobile workstations. And uh, there's there's lots of new updates here. Uh, one of the things that we're not updating, as Jim mentioned, the, the ZBook 15 is the world's best-selling mobile workstation in the industry, you know, in the world. Um, and so the um, we're not changing the industrial design or the form factor, um, but we're all we're, there's lots of things that you can't see that are updated on generation two. Okay, so on the new generation uh, workstations at a high level, uh, we're updating the CPUs to be, have the latest Haswell uh, CPUs um, from Intel. So what this means is customers are going to have faster clock speeds at each price point that they're buying. So that's that's greater uh, performance from the CPU perspective. And we're also updating with new graphics cards from NVIDIA, and we're adding AMD. When we launched the ZBook uh, 15 and 17 Gen 1, we had uh, you know, all NVIDIA choices, um, and we're adding AMD into the mix based on some customer feedback that we've gotten. Um, of course, we have Thunderbolt 2. Uh, when we first launched um, the ZBooks, it was kind of at that transition between Z uh, Thunderbolt 1 and Thunderbolt 2, so uh, we transitioned to Thunderbolt 2 with Generation 1. Generation 2 is going to have Thunderbolt 2 from the get-go, of course. Uh, and then we've got such great positive feedback on Z Turbo Drive on the desktop. Jim mentioned a lot of customer feedback. Uh, everybody that benchmarks it has really enjoyed to have a Z Turbo. And the first question I get typically is, when can I get that on the mobile workstations? And I'm really happy to say that with Generation 2, we're bringing Z Turbo Drive, PCI Express attached solid state storage right into the new um, Z books. Um, that also gives us larger uh, storage configurations. We'll continue to support large 32 gigabyte uh, configurations. We still have the upgrade bay to support optical or multiple hard drives. Um, and then the full featured legacy uh, docking support that we've had for many generations now. Customers that have invested in those docking solutions can continue to use the same docking solutions for the generations. Uh, from a display standpoint, we're gonna kind of, um, we've, we've kind of redirected our focus um, for the ZBook 15. Uh, we're focused on uh, the high resolution panel. So we're dropping the dream color option in favor of a very high resolution uh, display, the QHD plus panel option, um, and keeping the dream color available in the ZBook 17. Okay, so uh, depending on, uh, you know, we have a broad range of panel choices on both products, but of course, um, the ZBook 15, the high end focus will be on high resolution. For the 17, it'll be on dream color. Okay, so if you think about the, the products, all the products, there's a lot of things that aren't changing also. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on with the ZBooks is uh, reliability and durability. Jim talked about the quality investment that we've made in the ZBooks. Um, and one of the things that we pride ourselves on is the testing for mil-spec ruggedness. Okay, so if you think about the US military has a, a spec called 810G that tests things like shake and shock, vibration, humidity, dust, abrasion, um, pressure, and drop tests. Um, and one of the things that, uh, you know, is a fun kind of demo is, is setting it on the ground and uh, you know, standing on it, okay? And I'm don't do that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not super skinny, um, but you know, this is one of those things that uh, it, we know that our workstations are going to be out on oil rigs. They're going to be out on movie sets. They're going to be out on construction sites. They're going to get bumped. They're going to get bruised. They're going to get stepped on. They're going to get bumped. And one of the things that we know is going to happen is they're going to get abused. And we want to make sure that no matter what kind of abuse they um, undertake. Customers can still rely on those to do their jobs and get the performance that they need. So in okay. the military, the shorter officers tend to stand on them. <laughs> so I've taller. seen Jeff stand on it before, oh. so. <laughs> I don't need the height. Yeah. So if there's any MacBook Pros out there that I can, I can demonstrate, we can see if it uh, can yeah. <laughs> only, only if you give us that. <laughs> so, um, so again, this one of the things that we really focus on is, is reliability. We know people's jobs and their, their timelines depend on productivity and performance in, the, in, the, in this, this form factor. Um, I'll go through uh, the details of each of the products next. Um, we are going to continue to offer, obviously, the ZBook 14 as our the world's only Ultrabook workstation. But let's talk a little bit about what's new on the, on the ZBook 15. Um, OK, let me, I'm sorry. Let me, get, let me step into the Z Turbo Drive, one, 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 a little bit more detail on this. Um, we've been shipping 5400 RPM at 7200 RPM hard drives um, uh, for a number of years. We've been we started shipping SSDs a couple years ago, and now we're shipping mostly SSDs. And people are moving to SSDs. Why? Well, they're getting lots better performance, twice the performance of what they could get on the hard drives. Um, but there was a kind of a cost penalty to get there, right? But now that a lot of customers are buying SSDs, and during the showcase area, we're going to demonstrate this. 
but with the Z Turbo Drive, kind of at the same price point, you're paying for SSDs, you now you can get twice the performance that you could get with the, um, with the standard SSD. Again, that's the same value proposition that we have on our tower workstations, now applied to the mobile workstations. And so um, come check out during the product showcase, we can show you the, um, the benchmarks that are used in this. So you can see the capacity we're launching initially with a 256 gigabyte um, Z Turbo Drive. We'll continue to offer different uh, choices. One of the things that's also great about the Z Turbo Drive is if that's your, your hard drive solution of choice, then it also saves weight on the design as well. Um, but you can also be coupled with a spinning drive. So think about the total capacity. Um, I've still got my hard drive bays that I had on Generation 1, but now I've got the PCI Express storage, so now I can increase the, the overall storage capacity. So it's faster, it provides lighter systems, and it actually expands the, the storage expandability within the system. So there's lots of great uh, benefits of the Z Turbo Drive on, on the mobile workstations as well. So if we take a look at the ZBook 15, um, again, this is our, our, our best seller workstation. Um, and if you look at uh, the industrial design is not not changing dramatically. Um, we continue to have the security slot. We've got USB 2 and USB 3 um, ports on the side. One of our USB 3 ports is marked as a charging port. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that you can charge your mobile devices even if this is turned off or in standby in your backpack. I've been through the airport lots of times where, where I'll, my phone is starting to die so I can plug it into my laptop while I'm running through the airport and charge it so I don't have to carry one of those battery packs. I can just use my laptop as the battery pack. Um, I have the express card slot, uh, smart card reader. Um, of course, we've got the panel choices that, again, um, with Generation 2, you have choices of full HD, standard viewing angle, ultra wide viewing angle, or the QHD plus ultra wide viewing angle. So that gives you resolutions of, of 3200 by 1800. Okay. Um, we've got the image, image based touch sensor still, so you can do gestures. Um, and then on the other side, we have our upgrade bay which gives you the ability to support DVD writer, Blu-ray, um, or a lot of customers are opting to put, use that for hard drives now. Um, so you can have multiple hard drives too as well. Okay, so we've got lots of flexibility built in. Um, and then if you were to flip it over and open up the back, um, basically it's a single cover, and that exposes the insides. You can see the memory bay. The Z Turbo Drive would fit here. Okay, and then you have your wireless modules. And then, um, just like on Gen 1, we have the ability to take a tool-free hard drive removal. Um, there's, there's military um, customers that want to be able to remove the hard drive at a moment's notice and they can do that without tools. Did you, did you take off the back without tools? I did yeah. take off the back okay. without tools. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's a, there's, a, there's a release mechanism here um, and I can actually, if you want, you can install a security screw. We have some customers that say, I don't want my customers inside right. messing with that. You can put a security screw um, that makes it at least more difficult to do that. But um, if you want to get into the back to upgrade it, um, or, or service it, or, or swap out components, we can do that without, um, without the, tools. Does the hard drive still have the, two, the captive screws? Uh, it does have, you, you can, there's security screws for the hard drive as well. Yep. Okay, <coughs> so that's, um, that's a quick overview of the ZBook 15 Gen 2. And what we'll talk about next is um, the ZBook 17. Okay. Now as Jim mentioned, this is our flagship model. It has a 17 inch uh, uh, form factor. It has three different versions of a full HD uh, 1920 by 1080 screen. You have a standard viewing angle, ultra wide viewing angle, and of course the dream color option uh, that we've had on the ZBook 17 Gen 2. Um, like the ZBook 15, you have the security, you got USB 3 and USB 2. We've got the Thunderbolt 2 port, display port, express card, smart card, um, and then we have the upgrade bay. What's different about the ZBook 17 here is you're starting to talk about major expandability. If you think about the inside, now we've got um, two hard drive bays. I've got the, the, up, the optical disc bay that I can put a third hard drive in, so I can put a RAID 5 array in addition to the Z Turbo Drive, which you give me the, the speed that I would, um, the speed. So the total expansion now is up to over three terabytes of storage that I can put um, in the ZBook 17. Of course, the graphics um, ranges all the way from you know entry graphics all the way up to K5000 class graphics with eight gigabyte frame buffer. So if you think about the ZBook 17, uh, it's the ultimate in expandability, it's the ultimate in, in performance from a CPU perspective, uh, as well as from a graphics perspective. And then of course, with the dream color display, the media and entertainment customers, um, this is kind of the product of choice for a lot of them. Okay. Good, so then I'm going to talk a little bit about a quick overview of 
of what's going new here, and then I'm going to turn it over to Travis and Mike to give you more details. Um, on the Z440, 640, and 840, we've completely redesigned the chassis. Um, in some cases, the, the changes are, are bigger than others. Um, Z440, we re redesigned the chassis completely. We, have, we, we made it smaller, um, made it a little bit better, and, and Travis will go through the details of that. Um, in the, Z, the Z640 and the Z840, we updated the ID um, with, with some added um, storage density that Mike will talk about. Um, from a CPU perspective, we're upgrading to Intel's latest uh, Haswell architecture. This is Intel's server Haswell architecture. This is version 3 of their E5-1600 series and E5-2600 series processors. So what's in it for customers? Well, um, today on our Z820 and Z620, the top processor bin is at 12 CPU cores for a single processor. This takes it from 12 all the way up to 18 CPU cores at the high end per processor. Times two is 36. With hyperthreading turned on, you get 72 software threads. We're working with 72 <laughs> with the new um, system. So this is a, this is a major advancement for customers. Uh, DDR4 memory. This enables faster and larger memory configurations. Again, the guys will get into more details on that. And then, how many of you guys went to SIGGRAPH a few weeks back up in Vancouver? Okay. Um, in our partners at NVIDIA and AMD. The big news there was brand new graphics card lineup um, for both of them. That stretches, you know, greater frame buffer, greater uh, GPU performance, um, just all around better price performance. Because they didn't raise prices, but they introduced brand new cards that are really driving tremendous performance increases. And so, this is going to be our platform where we're bringing out those new cards from our AMD um, and NVIDIA partners. As you look, as you think about the the, store, the entire portfolio, again, we focus on environmental leadership, making sure that we're using packaging and materials um, in our manufacturing processes that are um, environmental friendly. Not all our customers care about that, but we have customers that care deeply about environmental, so we want to make sure that we're leading the pack when it comes to environmental um, impact of our technology. Um, Thunderbolt 2 is another thing. If you guys were in New York last year, we introduced Thunderbolt 2 cards. Of course, now we have that on our, we introduced that in Z1 earlier this year. Uh, we've got Thunderbolt 2 at the get-go with the new ZBook Gen 2. So Thunderbolt 2 available now across the entire portfolio um, of products. Z Turbo Drive now, again, available across the entire portfolio of products. On the towers now on the mobiles um, and uh, uh, whisper quiet acoustics the guys will get into a little bit more about that some of the advances we've made there and then um, we talked about isb certification so all of these products that you're going to see are going to be um, taking advantage of the, the foundational technology but we've got lots of new uh, lots of new things that i'm going to turn over to travis to talk a little bit more about the z4 